Hi guys, we are getting a little energy update for the week. It is Monday, so um, this is a timeless reading. You don't really have to tune in on Monday specifically, but it is Monday as I'm reading this. Um, and we have a new moon coming in Thursdays, so we're kind of like in those like grace periods. And we just ended, um, Merc or Mercury retrograde just ended, um, so we're in a shadow period too. So there's going to be like a lot of like, I don't know, I won't even say like stagnant energy, but you're going to feel like pretty bored. I mean, we just have the holidays too, so, um, and it's like the coldest month of the year right now, so, um, yeah, a lot of us are in hermit mode. A lot of us are just kind of chilling and just kind of going with the flow, which is really the energy that we, uh, we're getting right now, because obviously we need time to recharge, and these grace periods are like when we can kind of slow down and, and just like reassess everything, see where we've been and where we're going, what we want, where we want to go, things like that. Make some goals for um, the upcoming weeks um, and, and such and such. Um, the first card that we got here was um, a lot of sword energy. We got the Queen of Swords. Um, so yeah, just kind of... Um, Notice, stay on top of things. Obviously, we don't want to, like, set ourselves back, especially if we do have, like, some some pretty intentional goals this this year, um, especially um, business-related. Um, but really, just understand that, you know, you have, like, the skills, and, you know, you, we went through all this all of this inner work to really come to this point anyway. Um, so just understand that, you know, you don't have to be in hustler mode. Um, and you don't have to be like constantly doing something in order for things to work out. Like your manifestations are going to come through when you're energetically balanced. Um, so yeah, just understand that, um, have some mental clarity. Um, allow yourself, honestly, allow yourself mental clarity. Um, with this, with this energy changing, with everything changing, you know, it's, it's time to, to understand that, you know, we are still going to be on top of things. Like, obviously still put in the work. I'm not telling you to just be, you know, um, lazy or anything, but just don't under don't, don't think that you need to be constantly doing something. That's all. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of determination and in intentional energy this year. Um, so that's why you may feel like you need to be in, like, this hustler mode. Um, but honestly, we're not here to, to fall back into, like, the guilty, guilty habits where we're constantly doing something. And if we don't do something, then we feel bad. Um, because that's not, that's not what this, um, manifestation is about. Like, usually we tend to kind of block more of our blessings that way. Um, so just use... Use your better judgment. <laughs> Use your better judgment with these situations because obviously you're going to know your own limits. You're going to know how to balance things out. And, you know, if you if you journal things, if you write things down, um, you can develop, like, a really consistent schedule. So I'm pretty sure you're aware of that. But I'm just saying, like, we don't have to always be doing something in order for things to work out. Um, yeah, let's see what else we have here. Um, I might do an oracle card too. I haven't done an oracle card in a while. Um, just to get some overall energy. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of coming in, um, to the warmer seasons. Obviously, it's January. We're at the coldest month of the year. But we're going to be moving into, like, some warmer seasons. And so, like, spring, that's when the, the new year actually starts. And so... We're, we're basically getting prepared. I don't know. I've been, I've been telling people to get prepared since back in like October, bro. But obviously we've had all this time to get prepared. You still have this time to get prepared. Um, but just work on, work on staying balanced, um, with your manifestations. So don't, don't, um, you know, don't overwork yourself, obviously. Um, because you do have, um, this Hierophant energy, um, so you really, it seems like you're really balanced anyway, like, you went through all, like, the shadow work and everything to really get to you, to this point anyway, um, so it's really just a, a confirmation that, you know, things are working out, um, sometimes, all the times, we, we just need a little, we just need to be able to hear it, I mean, nobody else is gonna tell us besides their intuition that we're on track, 
Um, so yeah, that's that's your confirmation that you you are on track. Um, but yeah, so where is my oracle deck? I think it might be a little too far out of reach. Um, let's just do a couple more cards, actually, because I think my oracle cards are up on the shelf. But uh, yeah, what else? Ooh. Ooh, yes. Yeah, so I've also been getting like I did like a TikTok reading earlier. Um, I'm getting like this kind of like romantic, um, more like divine counterpart. So it's less of like the you know the butterflies and like the ooh ah feeling that you get. It's more of like an intellectual, um, you know, divine partnership. So a lot of those like they tend tend to people tend to to glamorize and make them, um like some like you know cinderella romantic story it's not it's not actually um more so it's like you guys really have like this energetic um bond and so that energetic bond when it is balanced when it is you know putting in the work both of you are putting in the work and and working on yourselves and and improving your lives then like this energetic balance comes from this energy and it just becomes like this magical conduit for manifesting and just having like overall good things happen uh so we're getting like a divine partnership a divine connection coming in so um whether you're the divine masculine or there's a divine masculine coming in the Divine Masculine's doing some activity. That is what I'm... Oh, look at that. That is what I'm hearing. And it's actually going to help you guys um, a little bit more with, like, your childhood uh, roots, your child energy. Um, working on your inner child is super important, um, especially for strong bonds, strong companionship. Um, just because that allows you to root into some of your core needs. So we have the Ten of Cups here. So like again, balance, harmony, alignment with others too. So that's going to allow you to 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 connect on an intellectual and emotional level. So things are much more balanced um, emotionally, um, and there's just a stronger understanding with these connections too, because you know you guys have been putting in the work. Um, you know, you're much more energetically and spiritually balanced individually. And that's where, that's where we tend to see our stronger and our improved relationships. Cause especially if you come out of a situationship and you've been like, you know, just kind of like, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to expect more. I'm going to expect better, um, for myself and the world around me. And then I'm going to put in the work. And then that's when... That's when, when we're not looking for love, it finds us. So, um, yeah, there's this, there's this light coming in, this energetic light coming in, um, that's going to really bring you guys to, um, the next level, basically. The next level, the next chapter in your guys' life. Um, so, you know, again, this is more of, like, a, a confirmation that things are working out. Um, but, you know, obviously... Um, we start to question things, not always, but sometimes, um, we can, we can tend to question things, um, when we're in these, like, 533, three, when we're in these grace periods, when there's, like, less going on, um, just because, you know, obviously we're not constantly in tune with our manifestations, like, usually, um, when we're doing practice, like spiritual work, witchcraft, things like that, it, it's a little bit more energetically, it makes us a little bit more energetically aware than when we're not. And so when we're not doing like rituals, when we're not doing our, our practices, it can seem, it can feel like, you know, there's this imbalance um, just because you're not in tune with that energy. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you're imbalanced at all. It just feels like it because you're not you're not doing the rituals and so you don't feel like this heavier awareness, this much more this brighter awareness within you. Um I hope I, I think that will make sense to some people and some people it won't make sense at all. Hopefully it gets to the right people. But <laughs> yeah, so um again, there's like this love energy coming through and I'll just put this out there like I have like I saw like another lady um down the street down 
one of these roads that had like a full blooming like rose bush but like we have like a couple that are budding um i just plucked this one usually i let them i let them blossom out and let the bees come but obviously it's it's not really season right now and it's actually super windy and when it tends to be super windy these things just fall apart um, so I just, I was like, you know what, I'm going to bring this inside. I feel like I need a flower and better coming inside, being energetically connected to it than it just flowing in the wind. Um, but yeah, so I just, you know, I obviously, I see a lot of these things and their intuitive messages, um, whether you're really aware of like symbolism in the matrix, the simulation around you in your life well however you see the world because there's different there's different layers there's different um there's different ways to conceptualize life but anyway so there's always going to be symbols around you and this beautiful pink rose is, is a symbol for love so self-care um is extremely emphasized this year self-love um prioritizing self over others it don't matter who it is how much we love them you know, they're going to love us the same amount. And you know what? That love itself is is the strength. It is the power. But obviously, when we prioritize ourselves, we have more love to give to others. So if you're wanting to be a more loving and, and, and connected person, don't allow yourself to just give give away every every ounce of yourself like you, we need to learn to retract and come back to source come back to self and and learn to recharge because we need we need time away we need we don't necessarily need isolation from others but sometimes we just need time to just kind of go outside by ourselves and just ground ourselves and meditate so this year is really being in tune with that energy that you know that recycling of energy and how to be a master of that that kinetic flow of energy so understanding you know karma um and just and just really being on top of like you know your awareness your intellectual your emotional and your spiritual your energetic awareness like all of these things go hand in hand so that is your message um i'm gonna actually kind of keep it short and simple today um we we have a little crystal i've been looking i believe this one is my citrine i've been looking for my crystal my citrine crystals for like a while i think i have some more right here too um but that is like for some reason that is like your your crystal as well um because i have been looking for citrine for like ever and it is just here chilling today. So um, it is the master crystal for manifestation. Like if you want a supercharged crystal, citrine is your gal. She will help. I I love crystals and you can honestly use any crystal for anything. But citrine, it really goes hand in hand with manifestation. So if you're wanting like a kinetic like oomph or just like, you know, just a, a little confirmation that things are working out the way that you, you know, you need them to work out. Like, just put, keep some citrine by you. Keep some citrine connected to you, like, on your necklace, um, in your bra, in your pocket, whatever. Like, just keep it around you. And that's, like, your motivator. That is your motivator crystal. So, that will keep you much more in tune with your manifesting. If you're feeling a little bit of that grace period, a little bit of that... I won't say like lack, but that it almost feels like we're not doing anything right now, which, you know, we kind of are and we kind of aren't, but it's all about balance, okay? You'll learn, you're learning how to balance um, your energy and your manifesting so that things are much more smoother when we're manifesting and we're not being chaotic and we're not overthinking things, so... That's just why we have this balanced energy or this this time to balance our energy. So that's that's what's going on. I hope that message was clear enough because I feel like I reiterated it plenty. Uh, but yeah, don't overwork yourself. Allow yourself to kind of step back and relax and just chill and recharge because that's that's when we're getting vitamins. That's when we're we're receiving. We're in a receiving mode when we're 
when we slow down, um, we are much more open to receiving that way. So think of it that way and then you'll allow yourself to calm down energetically. I love you guys. Bye.